Hey guys, this is Diamond Company here, and today we are going to be doing a review on the, this is the, um, a remote control Air Hogs helicopter, it's the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like the Axis 300, um, but I'll have to look that up, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna set you up where I don't have to hold the camera, I can just set it down, so, yeah. So yeah, here we go, and this is the helicopter itself. I got the gray version. I think that's the only one there is, and the yellow is right there. Um, it might turn out green on camera. Um, so yeah, and it has skids. Um, right here on the bottom, so you can land it. And now I want to go over the controller. Um, this camera angle is really not working. There we go. That's a much better camera angle. Here, let me just make sure it's recording. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I want to go over the controller first. You can see here it is. Um, and what's cool about this is, here's the charger for it. Right here on most AirHogs products, it's like this. So, yeah, that's... Pretty cool and something I wanted to point out. Um, so yeah, here's the charging deck thingy. And on the bottom of the um, helicopter, you can see right there is the charging jack. And mine's already full charge. But what you're going to do to charge it is get your controller, click the little on button. And this does take double, A, double A's or triple A's. And once you put it in, yeah, this is the Axis 300X, it says on the controller. And you should see this red light come up. So, yeah, and this is a 360 degree little joystick thingy. And here's just your simple up and down. It's spring loaded. Um, it would be nice if that won't spring load, so you could just let it there and let it go, and it would stay um, in the middle. Um, but yeah, sorry if you can see a mess back here. I got all my Xbox games and assortments back there. So yeah, now I want to, here, I need to turn that off. And uh, now I want to show you the features of the undercarriage of the helicopter. That's where all the mechanics are. Okay, so that's how you turn it on. And you should see a red light. If it'll pick it up you might see a red light in there if you don't that's okay too but there's a red light trust me and once again right here's the charging and this little lever right here it's not really a lever it's just a thing to turn it on and off um if you have it on the o that's off and if you have it on the little um i that's on so um yeah and it's um it has two um, propellers thingies, and it has a stabilizer right here. So when it's going, like it'll stable it if like it gets into turbulence or something like that, like it'll stable itself back out. So that's pretty neat. And um, this is fully functional, and you have your trim buttons right here. And this is not um, you don't have an antenna that'll poke your eye out. It is infrared. I think that's what they call it. And then your charger, when you're done with it, just goes just like that. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to give you guys some flying footage. Okay, here we go. Um, I got the helicopter right here, as you can see. And the controller is right here. So yeah, let's go. Oh gosh. Oh, it's getting in this little bit of turbulence. The camera's, oh gosh, getting out of the camera. Ah, okay. I'm trying to get on the camera. Okay. Um, now I'm going to set you up at a better camera angle so you can actually see the whole living room. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not the whole entire living room, but you can see more than you could... 
or like you can just see the general area where I'm going to be flying it at. It might go out just a little bit, but that don't matter. And I do have quite a bit of experience, like two years I started. Oh, and to mention this thing does have gyros. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I thought I could land it on that. Guess not. Yeah, I'm, um, if I do say so myself, very talented at landing it on things. And taking off. It's actually very frustrating at first, but I just got used to it. And there's a forward, backward. And now I'm going to teach you guys how to make it go hyper speed mode. Okay, so what I have here is two nerf darts. Um, they're just regular elites. You can use scrimlines, whistlers, whatever. And I got the helicopter. And see these front things that look like a nerf dart would hold on to them. They do. So what I did was. I scooted them on there, and now it just goes crazy. I want to tell you that much. And if you put them on the back, it goes backwards very crazy. But this will drain your battery down a little bit faster. But, and I forgot to mention, you do get about five to 10 minutes of run time with this. So yeah. Oh. And sometimes it just goes crazy. And it says, I don't want to be a helicopter anymore. I'm crash, crashing. And this thing is very indestructible and very lightweight. So, yeah. oh See, it just crashed like it did there. So, yeah. Oh, gosh. Um. So, yeah, guys, now I want to do like a little speed test. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, I got the helicopter here, and we are going to just speed test it. First, um, we're going to be speed testing it full blast forward without the nerf darts. And, yeah. Yeah. You can see a much more um, powerful boat. Yeah. And when you crash it, um, sometimes the dogs do fall like they did right then. Um, but anyway. And if you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. It's the Diamond Company. Bye!